Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change wallpapers automatically using a program called Variety for Ubuntu. Now it does work in OpenSUSE 13.1 although it's very temperamental in that um, distribution and I haven't tried it on anything else. It does work flawlessly in Unity. Okay, Ubuntu Unity, not a problem at all. Um, in GNOME it works, it works well, there's just a couple of features that don't work but they're not deal breakers at all, um, they're very minor things. So, unfortunately it doesn't exist in the official repositories, so we have to go to the web page, here it is, Variety is an open source wallpaper changer for Linux, and you can see some screenshots there, and how to install it. So we're going to want to copy this PPA, and here it is, sudo add apt repository ppa, peter levi ppa. I'll put this in the description box underneath the video. Following that, we need to update. Now, I'm not actually going to run this because I've already got the repository installed. So, let's just delete that. We would update. Super secret passwords. and then install variety. Now again I'm not going to do that because I've already got it installed and here it is V A R. there it is and if we click that we will open it. Now I've already got it open on here so the first time you open it you get the preferences dialog which looks like this so there's quite a few things here I've clicked that I want it to start when my computer starts um, I want it to change wallpaper every 10 minutes roughly. Um, the favourites folder you can pull photos from. The fetched folder, now these two folders are ones that Variety sets up itself. Um, the normal backgrounds folder that was set up by Ubuntu. And then we have all these other places where it can pull down photographs. So this Flickr account is actually Peter Levi account and he's the guy that's written this software um, so we have lots and lots of different options there and anything you don't want you can just unselect and reselect should you want it I have it set to download the wallpaper every one minute I think it was set to five minutes but as I've only just installed it I want it to be downloading quite a big back catalogue and then by default it's set to limit the download folder to 500 megabytes and it would delete the oldest files when it reaches 500 megabytes. Now if there are backdrops that you really like we can copy those into the favorites folder very easily I'll show you how that's done in a minute and then it won't delete those it will only delete things that's in your downloads folder okay we can also manually download now I haven't tried this myself but if you find an image URL you can just copy it and drag it over up here into this little variety symbol and it should copy it into your fetched folder okay which is one of the places here favorites folder fetch folder one of the places it's going to draw your pictures from there's some effects so we can have filters applied to all the wallpapers so we can keep the original we can have oil paintings grayscale pencil sketch I personally want it how the artist intended it so I just leave that blank there's a few other options in there I typically don't really use them we can customize the icon so I in GNOME this is typically dark um, if I had a light theme and if the bar menu bar was light I could turn that to dark so that I could actually see it but as you can see it disappears on my screen so there we go tips and tricks okay a few little bits in there that you can read and any recent changes right so let's get into how it works let's close this single left click on here and we can see this is the name of the wallpaper that's currently loaded it's coming from the backgrounds the normal backgrounds so if I want to look at what's been downloading I can click recent downloads and I can have these and I can just click one and it will change okay now it can be a little bit hit and miss although normally I find one that I think is really amazing now I'm not saying any of these are particularly awesome but if there was one that I really really liked 
I could copy it to my favorites and then that's permanently in the favorites folder let's just close the recent downloads I can also look at my wallpaper selector and this will include all of the wallpapers that's currently on the system including ones that have been downloaded and I can just go through and I can just click one and switch to it and that's really it it's a nice simple program it works pretty well um, I like it it helps me get a nice catalogue of good wallpapers I'm going to be using it quite a bit because I accidentally wiped my machine and forgot to back up the wallpapers even though it's on a separate home partition I deleted the config folder and all of the variety wallpapers were gone so I'm gonna have to make a bit of a back catalogue again but I don't mind because it helps me have nice new desktops every day Okay, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.